be showing you how to use concrete materials to help you to solve a missing number problem when you are looking at a subtraction. Okay, so for example, there'll be a number missing in your number sentence and it's a subtraction number sentence. Now, the missing numbers are, in, are often in three places. Okay, you can have your missing number at the end. You can have your missing number at the in um, at the beginning or you can have your missing number in the middle. Um, I'm going to show you today how to use concrete materials so you can get pebbles, pasta shells, um, and Lego pieces, marbles, anything that you've got a lot of little things that you can use for counting, coins even, uh, pennies. Um, but I'm going to show you how to do that today. Okay, so um, let's have a little look at, at the first one. So in front of you we've got um, a number sentence. So the number sentence you can see is made up of three parts. The number at the beginning, the number that is being subtracted, so the, that's the total amount at the beginning. This is the amount that's being taken away and this is the amount that's left at the end. Okay, so some of you would be able to do that but this is basically a missing number sentence, okay? Because the missing number is at the end. We haven't got the full sentence because there is a number that's missing at the end. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to get our total number. Um, so our total number is 21. So I'm going to get 21 sweets. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Let's just count them just to check that I've counted them properly. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and twenty-one. So in this question, it says I've got twenty-one sweets and I'm going to take away seven. So let's take seven sweets away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just double check that there are seven there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the answer is going to be what we have left. Okay, so we have left how many sweets? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So there are fourteen sweets left. And that would be our answer. Okay? Right, so that's how we would find. The missing number when the missing number is at the end. Let's have a look at finding the missing number when it's at the start. This is a bit trickier because we don't know what number we've started with. We know how much has been taken away and we know how much we've got left. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the largest number. So we're going to count what we've got left. So what we've got left is 16. So let's put 16 here. So 16. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So let me just double check that I've definitely counted correctly. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So that's, what, that's our largest number. That's what we're going to count. So we've got 16 left. Now we know that we took 5 away. Now we took 5 away from this number. So what we have to do is, because our missing number is on this side of the equals sign, we are going to have to not take away 5, we're going to add 5 to our, our answer. Okay, so we're going to add 5 on. So let's add 5. So 1, 2, 3, I'll put them over here actually. five. Okay, so we've got 16, which was our answer, and five. Now I know this is a subtraction question, but because the missing number is on this side of the equals sign, we do not subtract. We are adding these two numbers together to find our missing answer. So let's count them all and find the total. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Twenty-one. Now you can even check this if you like. So if you start from twenty-one and you count back five, if you end up on sixteen then you know you've got your your answer correct so let's try that 21 20 19 18 17 16 so that's how we know that that's the correct answer okay so you just need to remember that firstly you've got your answer here you count that many that's how many you need to count okay then your other number that you've got, because your missing number is on this side of, of the equal sign, you are adding to find your answer. Because if you think about it, you've got 16 sweets left over. Five were taken away. Okay, and remember, this is a number family. So if you add the five onto the 16, that's going to give you the answer at the start, the start answer. Okay, because 21 taking 5 away will give you 16. Right, let's have a look at where the, myth, the missing number is second. Okay, so this time the missing number is second. So what we need to do is we need to figure out how many we took away from 24 to get the answer 15. Now you can do this either way. You could do this by counting 15 sweets out and adding a sweet on each time until you get to 24. But you could also do it the other way. Count 24 sweets out and take sweets away until you get to 15. Okay, so what we'll do is I think the best way to do it is to stick with our opposite action. So let's start with 15 sweets. So we've got 15 sweets, let's count them out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and Okay, so we've got 15 sweets and we are going to keep adding sweets on until we get to the number 24. Okay, so and I'll show you a different way of doing it in a minute, but this is one strategy to do it. So you've got 15, so you're going to keep counting while you're adding a sweet on. Okay, so let's start 15, 16, 17. 18, 19, 
20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and that's our target number, okay? So let's see, we've got one, we've got 50 in here, and how many do we have here? This is our missing number, so let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so using that strategy has given us the missing number nine. Okay, so we think that it could possibly be nine. Now, I'm going to show you a different way that you can also do it. I'll move nine over here underneath. There we go. Okay, so we've got 24 sweets. In this strategy, what we are going to be doing is we are going to be removing the 15 sweets to see how many um, are left over. Okay, so we're using a subtraction strategy this time. So we're gonna, we've got 24 to start with. Let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So we've definitely got 24 sweets there. Now we're going to remove 15, and whatever we've got left, we're hoping from look from the other strategy that we used, hoping that we will find um, that there are nine left. Okay, so let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15. So we've removed 15 sweets from our pile of 24. How many do we have left? We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 left. And that means that our other strategy of counting on worked. So our answer is definitely 9. Okay, so let me just run over the strategies that we've just covered. So the first strategy was 21 take away 7. So that is very straightforward. We start off with 21 sweets and then we take away 7 and whatever we've got left. So here was our 7. So we have 21 sweets in total. Take away 7. Whatever we've got left is, is our answer. This was the trickier one because in this one we are adding... So we have to remember that when your missing number is at the start of your question, you have to add the two numbers together to find your answer. Okay, so you've got to you've got to get 16 sweets and you are adding the 5 to the 16 and that will give you your answer. Okay, so and our answer was 21. So you need to remember when the missing number is at the start, adding. When the missing number is everywhere else, take away. Okay, let's go back to this one. And this one, again, was very straightforward, like the first one. <clears throat> You've got 24 sweets, and you take 15 of them away, and you're left with nine. I hope you found this video useful, and um, I look forward to seeing any pictures of anything that you've um, that you've tried to do this strategy with, like marbles or whatever it is you can find around the house. Um, so good luck, and if there's any questions, just um, send me a little message. Um, and thank you for watching.